Hello there guys, Harrison Productions aka Blair Harrison here and welcome to a new video. And some of you probably know as a massive difference. Yes, that's right, I actually got a new haircut, and it? Nah, nah, I'm joking, of course not, everyone knows it, nah. What it is, is um, the lighting here. Well, that's because I brought a brand new, uh, well actually no, I brought my first ever lighting equipment for this. Now, it can't be denied, I think... I think it's safe to say lying is probably the most important thing in uh, video making and filmmaking and all that. And uh, this device I have here is the, oh gosh, I'm going to pronounce it very badly. The Nangang Nanguang. This, I don't know. If any of you know how to pronounce in the titles, uh, the titles, like the comments, sorry, then let me know. Um, this is the Nangang uh, Venus... 24 no venus v 24 c sorry i nearly got it, forgot it there um i've just got this today and i'm gonna try it out but first uh i want to give my kind of overall first impression but first let's go to a clip of me earlier when i was assembled or well, got out of the box and then maybe i'll do like an assemble and all that and see different ways and see how it goes so we are going to cut to the living room table during the day. So let's go to that now. Okay, and we are now at the living room table. And here it is. This is the box. It is the Venus uh, V24C. And uh, as you can see, the box is just basic, you know, just brown, all that. Um, up there... That says Venus V24C. I'm not going to show it because it takes up a lot of space and I've got the tripod. So we open it up like this. Try to make sure I don't hit the microphone. <laughs> and yeah, there's your instructions. Of course, uh, this is the ring light, of course. Ring LED light, should I say. Um, so that just shows you how to adjust and how to set it up basically you know i don't know if you're gonna see that i can't be bothered <laughs> great review am i right uh so this white thing this is basically for your phone i believe yeah i think this is for your phone and maybe for the ring light itself there's the cable uh did it tell you oh there you go some asmr for you so let's get this out of the box because it's taking a lot of room so let's sign frame. I apologize I was out of frame. I'm at a different angle and it's uh, a nuisance trying to set up. So, so this is the first foam and this is the mirror, I believe. There we go. Look, there's a, there's a mirror. Look, there's, there's my camera. Now you can, now you can be a YouTuber just like me. Okay, I look terrible. <laughs> Here is the light itself. And, um, it's, um, I don't know how that's looking on the camera might look a bit big, but it's not too bad. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's like the size of a dinner plate. Um, it's a bit big, but you know, not too big. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so that's the back. Uh, there's the turn on and this is, um, AC 124 uh, volts, I believe that is. I'm still trying to learn. You have two knobs here that's why i bought this because let's be honest folks you need a lighting system with two knobs this one i believe controls the brightness i believe well adjust it basically and this is basically just turns on the light so you can you know make it low or high and this basically just adjusts it you know because as we all know led lights are oh, as we all know led lights are very bright and there it is Looks almost like a saucer. Looks like something out of um, Star Wars The Phantom Menace, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like loose ships from uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Oh, everyone loves that film. I love Phantom Menace, don't you? It's a great movie, that is. Uh, it's come with this nice little Velcro. So that's nice. And I imagine this is a very long cable. What's that for, actually? Is that for, is that for the iPhone or is that for the actual thing? But... I know this is for the iPhone, so as you can, oh, sorry, as you can see, 
that goes as big. I'm not gonna put my iPhone right now because I'm actually using the, my iPhone to record the audio from my lapel mic. Uh, but maybe I might show that in uh, once we get to the, the, the office, well office as I call it. Oh, it is. Uh, so that's everything right there. So um, I should mention when you buy this, this does not come with a stand. Uh, or package in it, so you have to get that separately, which is, you know, a bit unfair, but hey, oh, you, you gotta make a business, so, which thankfully I did, but a stand for it separately, and hopefully we will see how this looks. So, now, some of you are probably going, well, Blair, why would I need a lighting system? Why, what's wrong with the camera? My camera's fine, actually, Blair, OMG, I'm gonna report you. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm not saying your camera or phone is bad, but it needs a lighting system, something like this or whatever, because what makes a great quality video isn't the, ca well, apart from the camera, which is of course important, but it's the lighting is what makes it even better because, oh, oh wait, here's your proof, Blair. Well, you up? I'll show you my proof. This is my Canon camera. This is what it looks like right now when I have this off. Yeah, look at this. How does this look? This looks like absolute fucking shit. Just to show you again, good lighting. Bad lighting, good lighting, bad lighting. See, in the past when I was making YouTube videos, you probably, you should have a look and laugh at how bad the, the lighting quality is. They are really bad, seriously. How the hell did I not get one immediately? Now what I used to do with my uh, Canon was, I used to mess around the settings, I used to change the brightness, but that's a problem. When you put up the brightness, you get this kind of grainy effect, you know. This is why you need a lighting system. It doesn't matter. You need a lighting system. Get yourself a lighting system. Not now, but when you have enough money, buy yourself a lighting system. Trust me, it will improve your videos. Especially now, I've started to see the massive improvement. And I can't believe it took me about... Gosh, how long? Three years? Three or four years to actually get a lighting system? Okay, here we go. Here's the other side of the iPhone. Ooh, look, look. Let's see some cuts. Ooh, look, special effects. But there we go. That's uh, that's what I've got, at least, here. Uh, so there's my camera. I'm using the uh, Canon EOS 700D. Here we have the... I guess you could say external microphone. We have the Rode VideoMic Pro. I've had for like, oh gosh, I think I've had this since like 20, 2016. I'm not really sure. Here's my settings I've got for the light. So this is the main ones that turns it on and off. So I've got it about 12 o'clock and this one basically changes like the brightness and that adjust, basically adjusts it. And I've got it about kind of Kind of six to seven o'clock. Right, next is the little items we get. Now, we get this bendy thing. I guess this is like a tripod in a way, but not an actual one, but just for the light. And this one is the phone holder. And we will see. Now, just in case you're wondering how this works. So, of course, you pull that and basically, now, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little hinge kind of thing. So that prevents uh, your phone kind of falling or moving about. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never done this in front of a camera. So what you do, you pull that out. And there you go. It should look like that. Then, now there are two ways you can do this. Now, this is, this part, this is for the bottom. You bend this, this is like the top, and it looks like something out of uh, War of the Worlds or something. Uh, so you get two options to for placement. So you could, you could either A, do it sideways, or you could do it like that way. But, but then again, who the fuck wants to do that? Because that just doesn't look good. I guess if you want to do kind of experimental kind of camera angle, I'm not sure. But I prefer up the top. So these little uh, things, I don't know, you turn them basically. And this is how it should look, and it's the one at the bottom. So, let's. So, you would put it on top 
Yeah, it's that way. So you put it on top like that, and then what you would do is you turn it. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Thank you, it? Yep, wrong way. I thought so. So there you go. So you just got to make sure it's tight enough. And look. Oh, <laughs> uh, no bad. You probably couldn't see, but there's a screw up the top. So what you do, again, by using the little black bits, you screw it on. This is difficult actually, how the fuck am I supposed to... So I guess it works like that in a way. Ah, here we go. So yeah, that's probably what it would look like. But we'll see anyway, we'll see how it goes through the camera. Well, not the camera, the phone anyway, so we're gonna test that. And now... Okay, this is what it looks like on the phone. And in case you're wondering, I'm recording the audio from the internal mic because the mic on my iPhone alone is broke. I don't know what the fuck I've done with it. Uh, but I know you can get kind of different microphones. I know you can get the little ones from uh, Show Up. That's pretty good. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the quality is not actually too bad, actually, a little bit. Um, of course, not as good as a camera quality, obviously. But this is good, I guess, in a way, if you're kind of, if you don't have the money to get a big camera. But that, that, like I said, I think the lighting is more important than the camera. This kind of equipment, like I've said, um, if you have just this, the, the ring light stand, an iPhone and uh, a low microphone you can add into this. Not, not the... Not this uh, lapel mic, that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to try something else. Uh, but I think this is a good little setup, especially if you're somebody who's on a budget and you can't get a lot, but you know. Sorry if I'm facing the wrong way. I can't remember which camera, where the camera is. Uh, I'm not used to recording on an iPhone, as you could tell. This is probably a good little setup if you're somebody on a budget. I'm pretty much impressed with the, the bell quality of the ring light. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the quality. And, um, you know, it's nice and sturdy and all that. And I think it's a nice little... That they come with, the little gadgets you can use your phone and that. I mean, okay, it's not going to be as good as the camera, in my opinion. I'm not going to use the iPhone all the time, but, you know, it's good. Overall, yeah, I'm, I really like the system. So we're going to head back to the proper camera and we're going to go back to where we start off and we're going to have my kind of overall first thoughts on this lighting system. So, yeah. Well, um, well, I think we can uh, agree that was uh, that was pretty good. And I nearly forgot one last thing. Uh, this comes with a mirror, actually. Um, and, yes, you can uh, put this on top like I did with the uh, the iPhone. Again, there's a little thing you just do that on. I don't. I'm not really going to use a mirror. I, I guess if you're somebody who's doing like kind of fashion or makeup tutorial kind of uh, videos, I guess that's good in a way. You know, before you go on camera. Oh, forgot me makeup. Oh, better put my makeup on. My overall first impressions, I'm really impressed with the bell quality, especially with the knobs kind of adjusters and that, because that's what I wanted anyway, because I know you can get the Nangang do a bunch of other versions without the knobs, but personally, trust me, just have the ones with the knobs on it. Trust me, it's better, because that means you could adjust it. Um, I don't have it kind of too bright, thankfully, because uh, I did do an earlier test with this, and my eyes were absolutely, you know, uh, I felt like I was going blind, honestly. So that's a, that's a thing I must warn you about. Be careful when setting this up, because this is an LED, uh, sorry, an LED light, or ring light, basically, and just be careful using it. It can hurt your eyes. Uh, just watch out for that. My only criticism, like I mentioned, the stand, uh, lighting stand, you have to get that separately. I guess it's fine for someone if they already have lighting system and they just finally decide to get the ring light, but I think it would have been nice if it had everything kind of included, you know? And the one problem I have, why is there not a bag? I wish there was a bag you can put this ring light in. So that's my only criticism. I wish there was a bag. I don't know, maybe I should try and get one. I probably forgot to mention, I ordered this from uh, Jessops. I think that's how you say it, Jessops. It's a photography, sh no, I guess a camera shop in the UK. I'm not sure if there's one anywhere else, but probably you can find kind of photography shops that do lights and all that. I guess I should mention the price. This ring light, this costs about 99 pounds. 
or this model, the V24C, the Venus, this one, this was £99. The stand was £27. So that's about 100 You're basically paying about £127, which I guess is fine. It's a little bit expensive for somebody uh, who probably just can't afford that. Again, I wish Nangang had actually included both of them together. Then, you know, it would save, you know, try to wait on two orders, but hey, oh, what can you do? But overall, I'm really impressed with it, and oh, I nearly forgot the stand. How's that? It's fine, honestly. It's just like any other stand. If you ever done photography or kind of filming courses, you probably use lighting equipment in your life. Overall, my first impressions, are, I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, again, this might not be for you, you know, maybe there are alternatives. Again, I think the best thing to do when you're getting into the whole lighting thing, do research, see how much it costs, if it's good quality, just decide on what you want to use it for, your kind of own preference in a way. But I do recommend, I, I recommend this for somebody. Again, this is just my first impression. I'm actually speechless. I'm actually struggling to come up with words. I'm gonna try and keep experimenting with the lighting. I don't know how this looks. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this lighting, if you like this kind, or if you want me to adjust it a bit. I'm gonna try and keep experimenting with different lights and all that while making videos and hopefully they look better and hopefully the quality has improved a lot. The good thing about having a light system is if you've got an editing software, something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or Avid or whatever preference of editing software you got, if it's got color adjustment, then that will improve your content. I've been Blair Harrison. I've been talking about the Nangang Venus V24C. I probably pronounced that or butchered it wrong. I know, I can't help it, you know. That's me, I guess. Hopefully this has helped and oh shit, the battery's gonna go. So I'm gonna go now. So I've been Blair Harrison and I'll see you next time for another video. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, then please hit that like button on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can check me out on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check out my awful music at SoundCloud, which you can find. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for another video. Take care, folks.